Joining us today is Joanne Stern. She is a psychotherapist for more than 20 years. More importantly, she raised a couple of daughters. Her book is called Parenting is a Contact Sport. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Matt. It's good to be here. It's good to have you here. Parenting is a contact sport. Now, just off the air, we were talking, and I was telling you that I have triplets who are four years old and a son who is eight years old. Yes, it's (laughs) (laughs) mind-boggling. Well, the funny thing is it's not that big of a deal anymore. Everybody, oh, we have triplets. Really? We know eight people with triplets. It's it's seemingly relatively common, at least in this day and age. For you, it's just what life is right now. That's true. That's true. It is what life is. And so let's start at the beginning because it helps me the Mm -hmm. most, Joanne. And that is, uh, I want to talk about communication because the book is really about communication yes, it in is. a lot of ways. Yes, it is. And how important is it? Because, you know, when they're teenagers or older children with their parents, as I get older and my parents get older, I realize more and more how this relationship still evolves and still works as we get older. But with the young children, how important is it that we have good communication, that we start building that when they're at a young age? It's critical because you can't start communicating with your kids and building a relationship when they're 12 or 16. It's too late then. I don't, I don't mean that you sh- if you haven't done it by then, you need to go back, rewind, and start wherever you are. But ideally, starting when they're very young is the way to go because when they're young is when you're setting the groundwork, you're laying the patterns, you're practicing that communication when it really doesn't matter so much. But the practice is for the parent so that parents become comfortable talking with their kids about some of these sensitive topics that are going to come up in your kids' lives. You're getting really serious about creating trust and respect in those early ages. So when it matters, everything is in place. Okay. So I have a child who's four years old. I actually have three of them. How do I start building communication trust? Is it just a matter of talking to them, talking through things that I tell them? How do you build it at that young of an age? Well, the bottom line is treat them with respect. Even though your four-year-old triplets don't have their cognitive brains fully developed, their feeling brains are well intact. So they know whether you're treating them They feel it, whether you're treating them with respect. And they may not have the words to express it, but they remember that. And they do not want to talk with, be open with, share with, be vulnerable with somebody who's not treating them with respect. That's why it's important, even when your kids are really young, to be respectful to them. Okay, what does that mean? It means putting down what you're doing and looking at them when you talk to them. It means talking with them, not at them. It means... Um, spending time with them alone. It means listening to their feelings, not just to what they're saying, but trying to get inside their skin to see what the world is like and what their problem is like from their perspective. It means telling them and making them feel that they're important, worthwhile, valuable to you, because every kid needs to know that they're valuable and they're going to turn toward the person who makes them feel that way. All right, the book is called Parenting is a Contact Sport. Yes. How important is contact with our children? Vital. What I mean by that is it's time to get off the sidelines and jump into the game because real contact with your kids is not just hugging them. It's spending time with them. It's doing activities with them. And most of all, It's talking with them and being involved in their daily lives in a caring and meaningful way. It's about, you say in the book, that we need to realize that the parent is not always right. That sometimes the child is right, and we have to be open to that possibility. And I think um, when the kids are younger, it's easier for us to be right, even if we're not right, because they're a little more accepting of it, and they're living in our house, and that's how they've been raised. But especially as I get older now, and I I, I realize, and I realize as my kids are going to get older, uh, that, that it's hard for a parent not to resent, I think, a little bit when their kids are saying, well, this is how you should do it, Mom. And when parents get into their 60s and 70s and we're adults now and we're doing our own thing and we see things, oh, Mom and Dad should have done this differently. It, it's a very tough little bridge to gap, isn't it, between I'm the parent and this is kind of how you should do things. And, well, you know what, I've been on my own for a while. Maybe, Mom and Dad, this is how you should be doing things. The most important part of, I think, what you said is our ability as parents to be okay with apologizing to our kids. Some parents are afraid to apologize even when they're four or 14 or, Mm -hmm. you know, in a difficult, you know, teenage years Um, because we think that our kids will think we're weak and, and we don't know anything. Actually, our kids already knew we screwed up. They knew it the second we did whatever we did. They really respect us if we say, I'm sorry. And it models for them that they can do the same with us. Dr. Joanne Stern is the author of Parenting is a Contact Sport. Parentingisacontactsport.com is the website. 
Thank you so much for being here with Thank us. Thank you, Matt.